Here we go. Boom. We are live. Hey, folks. Larry here. How's everybody doing today? Well, tell you what. We've been trying to get on here for about the past 30, 35 minutes, but for some reason on the laptop, it wouldn't let me on. So we had to use the good old iPad Pro, and then it wouldn't let me. But finally, for some odd, weird, stupid reason, we're on. So... How's everybody doing today? Today is what? Sunday? The 1st of September. All right. So who do we got on today? Because I cannot see anybody. So far, Nomad has joined us. Nomad, how are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Welcome aboard. All right. All right. So come on, people. Let's get together here and blab. So... Okay, we got that contest going on. That's going to be pretty cool. And it's going to end, what was it, uh, Wednesday, I think? That sounds right. Yep. So don't forget, we got that giveaway, large t-shirt. We got that, uh, the pin thing, uh, uh, log that uh, the pin thing uh, store, Brian, uh, donated. And uh, there's going to be some other goodies, of course, in there. So, in fact... I can show you the box is going to come in. Of course, I'm loading it up still. Here it is. Yeah. That's it's going to come in that. So, oh, it's going to be the mug for sure. The new mug that I just come out with. That's going to be awesome. Awesome. So, I'm kind of getting the box kind of ready filling it up to, uh, for the lucky winner whoever gets it so that's coming up uh what else is coming up mm. what else is coming up oh i got it uh i wanted to show y'all the uh a pen of course you know uh, here I am. I don't have it now, but uh, where's it? At? Oh, here it is. Down here. Coming up for the review, I'll just go give you a preview of this one. It's going to be the Franklin, uh, no, the uh, Edison Beaumont, the Snowflake. There we go. Beautiful snowflake. That's going to be coming up for review. So that's going to be fun. Uh, we also have the, thanks to Joel, who uh, sent me this pen as well. Appreciate it, Joel. Uh, the Moon Man. That's a beautiful fountain pen. Look at that one, too. Gorgeous pen. So we've got a, quite a few pens coming up that's going to be reviewing. What's up, announcer? Hello to Frank and Kara and Ambika Wolf. Hey, Gene, Ambika Wolf. Let's say, what's going on, Frank and Carol? Yeah, yeah. Make it to the big show. Really good show. So, got a lot of pins going on, so let's do some pin talk. Kara, Kara says, I'm here separately, so I don't have to wait for Frank to comment for me. Ah, good. So, we got two going on on a single shot. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Hey, Fort Worth Pin Club meets, don't forget, I believe it's on the 16th. Uh, that's the, what, third Monday at the Dixie Cafe here in Fort Worth at 6P. So anybody interested that lives in the surrounding area that uh, wants to join us, just uh, on Facebook, you want to give Janice a holler. Uh, so that way she can tally up how many people are going to be coming. Um, I know in... Is it January for Jim Hines to be coming out, I think? Wasn't that the deal? No, I thought he was coming this next month. Or no, no November? November, I'm November, sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. November, yeah, November. I Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, November, Jim Hines will be out. Pin Club meet. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, you know, I think I should write everything out, shouldn't I? Yeah. Uh, I got some new stickers in that... Uh, Looking like that. And I'm just testing them out to see how they work on the mug. Uh, 
I kind of tore one down there because I what happened was I put it upside down. So I had to take it off and it peeled it. But I'm I'm going to see how durable they are. But so that's going to be cool. Um, and the Dallas Pin Show coming up? Yes, yes. The Dallas Pin Show will be the 28th, isn't it? 27th, 28th. 27th and 28th. Yep. So don't want to miss that. So anybody on here that's going to be going besides Mr. Announcer, myself, Frank, and Carl, anybody else. Let's see, we've got a whole whopping, what, six people on? So... I am trying to, uh, for some reason on my iPad, I cannot pull up anybody that uh, that is on. So I don't know what I am doing wrong, but uh, I don't think I ever could get them on here. That's why you have to holler out. What happens is when you come on, I'll see your name, but then it's gone. So I can't see any comments. <laughs> oh. What was that one? Uh, hello to Rafael. Hey, Rafael. Welcome aboard, my friend. And he's from Spain. From Spain. Check it out. So is, uh, what's your name? Uh, what's your name? Not Loretta. It's, uh... Who, uh I don't remember who else is oh, from Spain. Is it Loretta? Uh, here we go. Uh, L Ladman? Ladman? No, she's from Costa Rica. Oh, Costa Rica. Yeah. Okay. I want to, what's her name, first name? Uh, that's, uh, um, oh, I could have told you if you hadn't met Roberta. Ah, okay. I want to show you all a picture that Roberta Laidman sent me, and she's in Costa Rica. Are you ready? Pretty cool. Yeah, she did this. And I just want to say uh, thank you very much, Roberta, for sending me this. She sent this a few weeks ago. And I just had been forgetting to tell her thank you and to show it on here uh, so everybody could see it. She did this, I believe it's watercolors, I believe she said, but she did a great job. Appreciate it. That's too cool, too cool. Nomad got to go to the San Francisco Pin Show. Hey, how was the San Francisco Pin Show? And wasn't Jim Hines at the Pin Show there? Kind of elaborate on that. And did you buy anything at the Pin Show? So, uh, also, uh, we'll be doing a review on this new wing song. Beautiful, isn't it? Piston filler, really nice. So that's coming up. Uh, again, here is the uh, Jim Hines uh, sent me this for my birthday. Again, thank you to Jim Hines for thinking about me on my birthday. Uh, beautiful pen. It really just... It's a diamond cast. Uh, does it have a name to it? Not yet. But as soon as I get all the pieces to the puzzle put together, then I will be doing an updated full review on this pin. And then you'll understand how this pin's going to fit into everything else. Hey, Nomad says the pin show was awesome, but he didn't see Jim there. Okay, so I guess he wasn't at that show. Okay. So, but he'll be at this show. So, you know, I really would like for anybody to leave a comment if you're going to be at the Dallas Pin Show. I know, you know, uh, Frank and uh, Carl are going to be there, but I, I just want to know anybody else. Welcome to an ink guy. Greetings, an ink guy. Welcome aboard. <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm pumped. I'm excited. We got the Dallas Pin Show coming up. We got the Fort Worth Pin Club meeting coming up. So, um, that's going to keep me busy, right? Uh, I've been staying steadily busy. We got a lot of reviews to be coming up. Uh, got a pen, a lot of pins to, uh, to review. Uh, so I guess I just got to jump on the train and get it done. And uh, I have the iPad going on right now. I mean, the uh, laptop going on right now to see if it's ever going to come on. For some reason, on the laptop, it will not let me connect live on YouTube. 
So I had to go with the iPad. Backup. Cool. So, what else has been going on? Anything else been going on? Um, well, I did get a new eyeglass. I lost the other one. Um, you, you could talk about the adventure of the lost pen. Oh, the adventure of the lost pen. And let me show you. Yes, and I was freaking out, okay? This is one heck of a fountain pen. The Franklin Kristoff model. Marietta. Model 20 Marietta. Yep. And I could not find this pen. I looked everywhere in the bedroom. I looked in the pen room. We looked in the hallway. We looked in the den. We looked in the living room. We looked in the yards. We looked all over the place in the car. Looked in the truck. Went back and did it all over again. I was going to freak. This pen was 120 bucks. I got it used, but it's in very good condition. I mean, it's like brand new, okay? So here I am about to freak out. And I said, let me look again in the truck. So I'm looking between the console and the seat, and there it was. Somehow it fell out of the pocket, as you see here. If I need to get it in there. It was in the pocket with the clip. But somehow, I don't know how it got away from me. Uh, it uh, fell between there. So, found it. Whew. Oh, that kind of gave me a scare. I love the fountain pen. It really is awesome. I mean, my first Franklin Christoph fountain pen ever. And this is the one I've been wanting. The exact model, the exact color. And I happened to see it on eBay on an auction. And, hey, I lucked in and I got it. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I did. Uh, truly is one magnificent fountain pen. I really love it. That's great. So, cool. Hey, <clears throat> Nomad got a Monteverde Engage one-touch ink ball demo, which is a roller ball that uses fountain pen ink. Well, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, I've heard of those. Okay, here's a pen that I, I've reviewed, but I want to talk about it a little bit. It's a vintage Schaefer. And it comes with, you know, you have to refill the cartridge. And I was on eBay on an auction for this pen, fighting for it. And let me tell you the reason why this pen was so special, besides it being so awesome. It's because the person that was selling it, this belonged to his father. And uh, it, he, he said his father would have everything in order on his dresser, all the pins lined up in order. Can you kind of imagine this now? Follow me here, really important. And when he got up in the morning, he would decide which pin he was going to be using for the day. So, this was a special pin, and it was the year, the 50s, 60s in that era. So, this is history on this pen. And let me tell you, this pen writes extremely well. I mean, it really does write well. Uh, and I had to have this pen because of the history. You know, for me, it's not always the, the bells and whistles of a fountain pen. It's not always about how much a fountain pen costs, no matter if that's a thousand, two thousand, whatever. Uh, that's not for me where it's at. Yeah, they're nice, all the bells and whistles, but the history, like what's behind this pen, that was, that was the, the deal breaker for me right here. And I had to have it, and I got it. And I think it's been inked up now for, what, about three weeks? And I just keep on re-inking it. So, really a lovely pen. And uh, have anybody out there, for real, have bought any pens that has any history to them 
I would love to see them on the comments below. You know, I like to read about and hear of stories about fountain pens, where you got that fountain pen at, who had that fountain pen. Uh, so that would be, really be a really interesting story to tell about the the journey a fountain pen has made from the 50s, 60s to now. And let's go back even f further than that. You can go back into the, what, 40, 50s? However far back you can go. That would be really interesting for me. Yep. So, anyway, so that's one of them. And now, let me bring out some bells and whistles. One of my favorites all time. The, what pin is this, y'all? What pin do you think this is? Anybody know? No fair looking. Leave your comments below, and then I shall unveil this monster. Beautiful fountain pen. I love the fountain pen. Anybody guessing yet, Mr. Announcer? Not yet. All right. Well, we'll just leave that one alone, see if anybody can uh, guess. And my other one is... No man. Nope. Not the 149. Close. And here's another. It is a Mont Blanc. And you're right, Jerry. Jerry, you never cease to amaze me, my man. You are so correct. That is a laboratory pen. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Announcer? Yes. Wow. 100%. So, Jerry, Jerry, my main man, let's fire it up. I'm going to give you this. Oh, okay. No, this is the Legrand Mont Blanc. Beautiful fountain pen. Love it. One of my top-notch pens. Love the way the shape, the look, the feel, the way it writes. You know, yeah. Mont Blanc is one of my top-notch pens. Hey, Jerry, I got the apostrophe fixed. Turns out that font didn't have the apostrophe character, so I had to go in and draw it in. That's the reason why. So, Jerry was a school teacher, correct? Maybe. So, those are the pins that I'm carrying that's left that I'm carrying, so I have to fix and to ink up some other pins to get ready for a review. So, anyway, welcome Jerry's in the house. Jerry, 550 in the house. He's rocking and rolling, baby. Okay. Wow. Boy, that was a... Hmm. Okay. So, anyway. So, what else is going on? Okay, we got the Fort Worth Pin Club coming up. September 16th, here in Fort Worth at the Dixie Cafe. Once again, we'll be going to the Dallas Pin Show, 27th and 28th. Uh, anything else going on with you folks out there? Oh, Jerry, what did you say? Uh, never taught school, but I did give some teachers a hard time. Ah, oh, one of those kind. Hmm. Well, I guess I kept them on their toes, Jerry. Why not? As long as you did that, Jerry, in a good way, in a good positive way, that's okay. So, is Wolf still on there? Oh! You're on there, baby. Talk to me, Wolf. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm all ears. Come on. I'm a waiting. I'm awaiting. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, a pen. Well, I'm going to be getting some pens, but not right now. I'm going to be waiting to the pen show, and then I'll probably get a couple of three. Uh, so, I can't wait for that. Jerry says the howling is making him grow hair on his knuckles. You know, Jerry, I was thinking about that because if I kept on howling, I was wondering that hair just might be growing longer. Just think your knuckles. Oh, and Bika's writing a pen pal, too. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, and I already mailed your letter. Yes. 
And I'm not going to talk about what I wrote because you know what you and I talk about is kind of like, eh. Okay, so. Anyway, so. How many pen pals do you have now? Uh, 20. <laughs> and I, I stay at 20. Uh, yeah, I'm not taking any more than 20. Uh, at one time I had 40. Well, that was a trip. But, uh. I stay at 20. I did have a priest write to me at one time, but he just dumped me. Uh, I guess we had nothing in common. I mean, you know, when you have a pen pal and you may not have the same hobbies or likes, but you don't have to write a Bible to them or 20-page letter. You know, you can just do a quick one page and just hey how you doing i think you're cool whatever you know and and, and that's fine but uh the priest just uh i guess just didn't find me interesting enough and Bika has 30 pen pals oh okay how is cubby doing well cubby went to get his shot today cubby um 17 months, uh, 17 years, nine months old. Uh, we've been helping him get it off the bed right now. And of course, putting him in bed. Uh, concerned. Um, he has problems with his back end, right? Yeah, sometimes after he's been asleep for a while, when he tries to stand up, it doesn't quite work. Uh, so, uh, you know, in, in fact, we're supposed to take him, what, every two weeks for a shot, and that's for the muscles, the joints, the bones, and uh, for some stupid odd reason, we forgot to take him last month completely, and he just hit us today. Oh, my, we didn't take him. So we got him to the vet this morning, and he started back his shots. So he'll go uh, twice a month for his shots, and... Uh, he did gain a, a about a pound plus, so that's good. He eats really well, uh, but uh, thank God he's doing okay. Uh, yeah, Cubby is my heart. I mean, uh, without Cubby, it, it would be rough. Uh, so anyway. Uh, so, uh, what else can we talk about? Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it's Cubby's paw print. I never thought of that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Cubby would like that. You? Let's see. What about the pen that you had to send back recently? Ah, uh, the pen that I... I didn't send a pen back recently. Hey, you got a refund on it or something? Uh, what was that? The, the zebra? Yeah, I did send back. Yes, that's right. Uh, I did a pen mail on the zebra V301. And uh, when I finally inked it up to start getting ready to see how the pen writes and uh, get into another pen like I always do, takes about a week, sometimes two weeks before I actually bring a pen on board to do a review. Well, the darn stupid pen wouldn't write. So I had to ink it up, empty it, ink it up, empty it, then it would write, skip, write, skip, write, skip, then it wouldn't write at all. So I got a hold of the seller really nice and apologized and you know she sent me a label sent it back to UPS wasn't it yeah and uh, as soon as they saw that tracking number they refunded my money now another one that I'm working on and I don't have it in here with me is the hero uh, vintage uh, 66 what oh uh. Ambika says, 
My shortest lived pen pal was a guy in Minnesota who said he would be bummed if Christmas weren't, wasn't white. It wasn't, and he, she never heard from him again. What? <laughs> All right, huh? But anyway, it's a uh, old stock vintage Hero 66. And I just had to uh, send a message to the seller that it's not working. It's skipping, it just, and it's scratchy, and it just sucks. What else can I say? Bad. Yeah. So I'm waiting to hear back from that, that one. So um, let's see. I know on the hat wear, we do have some new hats, don't we? I don't know if they've seen them. You probably already have. This is a definitely great color right there. And I do like that one as well. That's cool. So we've been working on some new stuff. And here's a, a new one. So this is one, uh, Frank, I'm telling you, th this is going to have the blue one. Have you already got this one done? Uh, I think so. Yeah, this one's going to have uh, the... Uh, the the ink blotch. Yeah, it's going to look just like that. And it's going to be right up here. And, you know, once I it's all, it's uh, really, uh, it has a nice feel to it. Uh, it it's got the, the, it's called the head sweat, and um, it's got like little air holes, uh, little holes in the hat where uh, air can come through it and your head won't get all boiling hot and your brains will blow out, something like that. So, uh, you know. He likes it. I think it'd be really cool. So we'll be getting that uh, to you. Uh, well, let's see what else is going on. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, there was something I was going to mention that I don't know if I should mention because I don't want that person to know that what we're going to do. So I'm not going to mention it. How you like that? And Mr. Announcer, it's about... No, no, we, no, no. So I can't announce it. Sorry. Rock and roll, baby. Let's get it. Okay. I had a moment. <laughs> I had a spell. Okay. So, okay. Kara says, I picked up a couple of presents for you today. Oh. The question is, save them for Christmas or? I can't do that. <laughs> I cannot do that. I cannot do that. I just can't. can't. You should do that to me. Because I'll open them now, then we'll have nothing from Santa Claus. So. Okay, okay. Okay, I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, eh. so Frank got to help me out here, brother. Okay, but anyway, okay, Kara. Now this is your pen, Kara. Remember, you said you wanted that one. Well, that one's yours. Isn't that beautiful? It really is. I believe it's a pen BBS. I believe I'm right. Beautiful fountain pen. Writes extremely well. Yep. So. There it is. Beautiful. Okay. So, another for you, Frank. <laughs> mm -hmm. How you like that, Frank? But anyway, anything I give to Carol, no, to Frank, Carol's going to take it away. So, so much for the fan. So, anyway, uh, what else is going on? Ah, uh, I do want to show my uh, pin stand. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, the person wants to stay anonymous, so. But uh, if he's watching, I want him to let him know that thank you very much for the stand. Also, let me get a hold of uh, another gentleman over here. Right. Nope, not that one. Where is Joe's? You see? Ah. Uh, all right. A special thanks to this gentleman, Joel. He's the gentleman that sent me the uh, Mr. Jim Italic pins. He sent me three of them, and he sent me that new Moon Man pin as well. That's kind of come up for review. So, 
Hey, thank you a lot, Joe. It really helps me a lot. And real quick, guys, if you want any of your pens reviewed by y'all, send them to me. I review them, and I won't send them back. How do you like that? No, not really. I'm just kidding. So, anyway. So, uh, let's see what else has been going on. Uh, I am trying to cut back on ink. Totally. Trying my very hardest. I do like a lot of the new Lum inks that came out. I like that. Uh, on the Pen Thing store. Did y'all catch that last one there that I did uh, video? The Pen Thing. He's a brand new. Uh, Brian uh, came up with this design. It's in the video that I did. Uh, ink Swatch. Pilot log right here. Let's see if we can see that. Right. It would help. And let's see. Here we go. How about that? Can you see that? That's for you, Jerry. Upside down. Okay. Oh, Jerry, sorry, Mr. Zebra comment. That was for you, Jerry. Ta da! Actually, Jerry, I'm going to say that's a trick question because the zebra isn't a horse at all. So. How you like that? It's not. Ta da! But anyway, that's. Uh, on the pen thing store. Brian's got some cool stuff going on for the real. He's really got some nice stuff going on. You need to check out the pen thing store while you're at it. Uh, also, uh, Jim Hines pens. Don't forget, if you're going to do any ordering from Jim Hines, he's getting ready for that uh, September Dallas pen show. So it may take a little longer than six weeks. So you need to. Uh, Go to Jim's website and ask him, you know, how long for whatever pen. But uh, he will have a quite a few of selection with him, I'm thinking, when he was coming to the Dallas Pen Show. So for any of you out there that are coming, bring it on, baby. Okay, nobody asks, is there anybody here who uses wax seals on their pen pal letters? Uh, in this house? Well, here, I think, you know, anybody that's watching. Uh, oh, oh, I don't know. Uh, I know, uh, Brian Freelander from the Pen Thing store does. Where is that seal at? Do you remember where I put it? Uh, it was over here last time I saw it. There it oh, is. here it is. Let me show you real quick. This is, uh, from the Pen Thing store right here. This is his seal right there. Isn't that good looking? Good looking pen seal. Yep. I thought I'd save that because that is just a good looking seal. So, uh, you know, I've thought about doing them, but I don't know because I do a lot of my letters at Starbucks. So, it would be kind of weird for me taking a seal, you know, and getting it hot and get it all melted. And bleh. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm not saying I would never do it, but Probably not. Uh, let's see. Frank asks if they would melt in the heat. Uh, I will say the, of the ones that we've received through the mail, they've always been in decent condition. Yep. And it's been 102, 107, so, yeah. Uh, Ink Guy uses seals often. Oh, okay. Ink Guy, where do you live at? And uh, Ambika says she's using red ink now, getting ready for Christmas, maybe. Getting ready for Christmas. That's such a lovely word, Christmas. How about that, Jerry? Chris oh, yeah. Florida! Okay, all right, calm down. Oh, I had to break down here. I'm having a moment. Okay. Can anybody tell me what, without looking, <laughs> give it away. What is this? Does anybody know? Can anybody even guess what that is? I bet not. Oh, Ink Guy, are you in the path of the hurricane? <laughs> Jerry, never see tomatoes. Mm. Obelisk, he guesses? No, look at that. No, look at that. Nope. 
y'all will never guess it. Ah! Okay. Yep. Well, here, let me help you. Not help any? All right, let me help you again. Now y'all get it. Thought I'd share that with you. It's you know when you uh, send a pin or uh, get a pin back uh, after you send it to get repaired or something, uh, and they send them in these kind of containers or uh, they may be clear, different shapes, but. Uh, this one is a Mont Blanc, I see, after sales service. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, here is another Heinz All American. Now, this is a kick monster pen, too. Yeah. And I'm thinking, let's see here. It's uh, almost as long as the one that Jim sent me for my birthday. But look at that diamond cast all through the barrel and the cap. It's really nice, doesn't it? It's really pretty. Look at that. It sings. Yep. So that's what's going on. And what else is going on? Uh, Retro 51 the big shot roller this is the roller ball really a nice roller ball one of my favorites i like the big shot a whole lot i like the girthiness the size just feels good in the hand and it has a decent uh uh nib on it and it's more i think of a broad maybe a medium broad but it writes real well Has anybody visited uh, the Fountain Pin Revolution store lately? Throw that away. Don't forget, contest ends Wednesday, and then I will mail it on. Thursday. And what else has been going on? I'm sure I'm missing something, aren't I? Mm. I'm trying to think. What was it? Let me look over here for a minute. There was something I was going to show you, but I think... I'm not going to show you because I forgot what it was. Oh, well. Mm. So, uh, I will be doing a video soon uh, about pins and letters. So, be kind of watching for that one. That's going to be coming up soon. Uh, Kara says Annie tried to steal her uh, FPR pin today. Oh, shame on that. Speaking of that, I got an FPR pin here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The Himalaya. Gorgeous pen. Gorgeous pen. It is, isn't it? It is. That'll eat your heart out. So I got to show you one more other. Don't go away, everybody. Look at this other beautiful Himalaya. Are they not gorgeous? And they write extremely well. For real. Fountain Pen Revolution rocks, man. Uh, Kevin got his thing together. He really, really does. And here's one I bought from uh, Fountain Pen Revolution as well. Another one. But they go live. Really nice fountain pens. Really nice. So you're not going to go wrong when you if you buy a pen from, from Kevin at Fountain Pen Revolution. Uh, you're not going to go wrong uh, if you decide to take a road trip. Stop by Fountain Pen Revolution and enjoy all the goodies that he has in the office to sell. 
Nomad likes the red one. Yeah, the red one is really pretty. Reminds me of a candy uh, uh, apple, yeah. Candy apples. Uh, what, what kind of nib does it have? Extra fine. Let me make sure. Well, I believe this is an extra fine. Yep, that's the extra fine, and it really writes really well. Yep. And then the one in the blue one is fine. Extra fine. Yep, Frank. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yep. Yep, I know it. Yep. Hello to Lawrence. Uh, he says he has a Himalaya in green with his first broad nib. Cool, how do you like it? I have the, the broad nibs, I have the extra fine, fine, medium, uh, uh, one point something I forgot, and I forgot. So yeah, I've got quite a few of their nibs. Ah, I do have the Ultra Flex too as well. I do, yep, yep, yep. Wet, yes. Mine, I've had the same experience with mine. Wet. I like mine extremely well. So. Does anybody ever just use a fountain pen just doodling? Just doing really nothing? Scribbling? Just, you may be sitting there, you know, watching the tube and just get your pen out and you have a notepad and you just kind of like, you know, like... Okay, I'm just watching TV and kind of doodling here and there. You ever do that? Does anybody ever do that besides me? I always use a fountain pen. Every day, seven days a week, morning, noon, and night, I use a fountain pen. Because I do that much journaling. I do a lot of journaling. And I really, really enjoy it. And then when the pen pal letters come in, hey, that's even more of a reason to pull out your pens and use them. Right? Right. What do, you, what do you say? All I do is scribble. Oh, I love to see it. You need to put some scribbling on here so we can see it, Jerry. Share and share alike. Um, what else is going on? Um... Sometimes when I'm at Starbucks, I may do a video by myself because I'm there, I'm, I'm on this iPad. And uh, I do get some comments like, uh, aren't you worried what people are going to be whispering about you, what you're doing? And the answer is no, I'm not going to be worried about anybody whispering because I'm doing a video. And... Uh, no, I don't put anybody else in the video but me. If they're going to be in the view of the time I'm doing a video, I always do ask a person, hey, I'm going to fix and do a video. Do you mind uh, if you're in it? If not, don't move. So I get a lot of weird comments. Uh Today, I was reading a comment that this chick left, uh, Frank, and uh, so I had to delete her comment because she uh, was trying to be cute, so I took care of that. Uh, there are some new pin makers. Uh, were they on found my group or somebody else's? They made a beautiful fountain pen. It's gorgeous. And uh, he might be sending me a pen to review. I'm not sure yet, but I forgot the gentleman's name, but he really is great. What was that? Uh, if Starbucks had a problem, they would say so. Yep, they sure would. And, you know, the Starbucks I've been going to four years in county, not a problem. And the other two Starbucks I go to two years in a, a year. So, not a problem. They know me extremely well. Yes. They know me, know me, know me. In fact, my latest addition. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, oh, I do know what I want to say. 
Hey, uh, Detroit LaPlante, thank you for coming by and joining us at the Fort Worth Pin Club, Troy. We really did appreciate it. It was great meeting you, the wife, and the kids. Uh, it was, I had a great time. Uh, God willing, hopefully you can do it again. And this time we can spend more time together uh, and socialize together. Uh, because I had a great time. I really did. And uh, we need to do it again soon. So, uh, on Birmingham pins, has anyone ever heard if they ever got another mortar store yet? Or is it just online? And does anybody buy a lot online from Birmingham inks slash pins. I'm just curious. And what else? Just leave your comments below because I'm just interested and in see what's going on. Um, I'm wondering if anybody's heard if Noodler is going to come out with a new pen and a new ink. Been waiting on that. What else? Okay. You saw it? I saw that real briefly. They buy some. Buy some, but not, not in a lot from any one place. Uh, Jerry's got a lot of Birmingham pens. Okay. The only thing... Uh, The only, the only reason why I really don't buy from Birmingham pins any of their pins is because I mentioned it before, uh, they don't have any clips. And I'm not going to buy a pin without a clip because I usually clip my pins on my shirt. So without a clip, you know, I'm not going to put it in my pocket and get it all scratched up. Frank says they uh, like the Birmingham pins and inks they've got. Nomad says he's had great online service from them. They do have good servers, yeah. Uh, Jerry says they have good bundle deals and nice ink. And then uh, hello to Pepe from, I'm going to assume that's uh, Nigeria. Hey, Pepe. Welcome. Welcome, my friend. <laughs> but, you know, my thing, as y'all well know, is that, you know, my friends have to have a clip or I won't buy them. That's just my thing. My preference all the pins you've... Oh, no, we're, I'm talking about the Birmingham pin that they make and sell, Jerry. I'm not talking about the other pins like the Twisbees and other pins they sell that have clips. Pacific Birmingham pins. So. Labor Day tomorrow, isn't it? Yes. Anybody have plans for tomorrow's Labor Day? Fill it out. And you know, we're starting to get cooler weather here, too. I have tried what? Go ahead. What does it say? Uh, Jerry said, yes, I see. Uh, Ink Guy has tried uh, a lot... Hadn't tried one of their pens, but a lot of the inks he's got. Okay. Uh, Pepe's writing a few letters. Okay. Pepe's name rings a bell for some reason. I don't know why, but it just... Huh. Okay. Nomad's going to water the garden tomorrow. You got any cucumbers, broccoli in there... Onions, tomatoes. That sounds kind of good. Mm. We'll be watering our grass tomorrow. Ah, uh, about using a lot a pin sleeve. What about using a pin sleeve that holds one pin? Yeah, I do that. Uh, but you know, I I carry more than one pin. Uh, so I, I may carry a, a pin case with 
two, three, four, five, twelve. But I always carry a pen either in my shirt in here or there or pocket. So, you know, that's just me, though. Uh-oh, I've got some, what do you say? Uh, Nomad doesn't have any veggies. No Fr veggies. Frank has tomato and pepper plants, Ooh. but not, okay. not much on them. Oh, bummer. Okay. Right. So we did uh, have the yard worked on. We had uh, what have we got here. Uh, what is the best Chinese pen as a workhorse? I like the. There's two of them. I like the uh, Jinhao 159 and the Jinhao 750. Those are mine favorite of all the gin house you know yes i do like the 566 a's uh they have a lot of nice pins that i really enjoy but those two are my favorite and i like changing out the nibs on them so what's going on behind the enemy lines back there because I can't see anything over here. Uh, Nomad likes Jerry's sense of humor. Yeah, the 51A. Yeah, got, I got that. Okay, that's a good one. Yep. In fact, uh, let me just. Uh, bum, 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 bum. There's the, one of the gin house. 51 in right there. That, that's the one. I got the one you probably have. And you, I've got two or three of those. Uh, uh, let's see. Here's a, talking about a Birmingham pen, here's one of his newest ones right here. It really is a beautiful pen. It really is. It just doesn't have a clip. So, you know, I keep that in my pen drawer. I, I don't ink it up a lot. Uh, it's got a number six Knox nib. I'm not crazy about Knox nibs. Never have been. But that's just me. But uh, I will probably change out the nib in it. But uh, it is a gorgeous looking pen. It, it, it is. I'm going to give it that. And it does write well. It, fits, it, it does everything just like it needs to do. There's nothing wrong with the pen. Love it. Just a nice pen. Just no clip. Okay, Peppy says... Uh... He just ordered a few X450s that look similar to the X750 and the 159. Right, right. right. And yeah. Nomad uh, asks, is the 51A like a Parker 51? Yeah, sure is. Yep. 450 right here, the champagne one. I've got, I got a bunch of these. I mean, I really do. Uh, a lot of them have different nibs on them. Uh, so... But I really do like them. They they really work well. Here's another 450. So yeah, I got plenty 450s, 750s, 159s. Uh, I got a few 250s. Uh, how do you, is that Yaren? Yaren. Yaren. Yeah. Have y'all ever seen the uh, the Yaren Chinese Yaren? Uh, I've got a bunch of those. Uh, these are really some nice pens. They look like Lamy. Yes, they do. Uh, they got that Lamy effect, right? They really write really nice. And uh, they're usually extra fine nibs, but they usually run more of a fine medium. Let's see. Okay, Ink Guy says the 450 is a mid size pen. The 750 is a little thinner, like a 450, and doesn't have the ridges on the section. The 159 is fat, like a Mont Blanc. Uh, Jerry says the 51, 51A acrylics are great. Uh, hello to York81. And Pepe says USPS is stopping accepting Chinese mail. So RIP Chinese pens, unless you buy them at uh, 10 times the price from Goulet. 
who is that? The postal, postal service, office? post office. Huh. Gonna stop us accepting Chinese mail. Well, I just got some in, remember? Yeah, uh, I just got did? one yesterday. Yeah, just got one in yesterday. Well, when is that supposed to occur, Pepe, do you know? And why is that all of a sudden? Ah, oh, got you, Jerry. You're, you're seeing the comments before I do, so. Well, it doesn't stay on very long. End of September, it says. I oh, getting around the terrorists, okay, yeah. I've never even heard about that. Yeah, I haven't seen any news you, on that. When did y'all find out about that? <clears throat> yeah, I think your light sells them for like seven to ten bucks. Uh, there's some other sellers that sell them as well. Uh, they're using speed packs plus sending through other countries. I've never heard of that. Speed packs? No, I'm not even familiar with any of that. So are they going to stop sending to the U.S.? Are you going to be able to buy off eBay? If so, are they going to come by a different carrier or what? Or a different name? <laughs> I'm sorry, but this has come from Korea. Agala! Agala! <laughs> That is interesting. What you got? Um, uh, U.S. is leaving the postal union, so even if they ship through other countries, uh, they're all treated the same. Uh, eBay is forcing Chinese sellers to ship different ways. Man, I must be living back in the Stone Age because this is the first I'm hearing about all this. So thank you for sharing. And I live on eBay, man. I'm just like, <laughs> what? No? Eh? Oh? Well, thank God we have regular uh, pin settlers here in the U.S. Uh, the uh, China Post USPS arrangement is not in effect anymore. So they're not getting not wrong. yeah, I'm not gonna carry it anymore. Uh oh. So is it a bonsai ditch gone? Eh, out of here. Chop chop. No more. Well, I hope everybody's got enough uh, Chinese pens that uh, all that's gonna be happening, but I'm sure they'll get around it and they'll continue to sell and they'll continue to flow into the US. Uh, York says uh, he is a custom pen maker, and they ship via USPS. Hey, York. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Okay, Pepe says, I prefer it that way, honestly. They're a good value, but at the cost, at a cost of IP, yeah, back, that is. back to buying good pens. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Yeah, there. what is IP? And York is a pen maker? Yes. And York. where is York? In China? York, York, where are you located? Uh And Bika says, good thing there are U.S. sellers. Uh, Jerry says, uh, uh, let's see here. Oh, apparently they have some problems up there. Uh, not if your package comes through Inwood, New York, and then handed to USPS. Uh, York is in Seattle, Washington. Ah. Okay, IP stands for intellectual property. That's not me. <laughs> eh. So, Mr. York. Love to see your stuff someday. And I wish you nothing but the best. And I hope you stay busy creating and living the dream in what you do. And there's a, a gentleman from India that's going to be sending me a pen to review and I forgot his name and I believe it's a little bit I know about it it's an eyedropper 
Ambika says she feels like it's the end of an era. Okay, on Instagram for... Uh, okay, Yort is on Instagram at Brute Force Design. Remind me of that. Okay, Brute Force Design. Brute Force Rocks! <laughs> and you know what? Let's go ahead and give him the clamp bell ring. There you go. And if you, uh, if you want to, you can join uh, Larry's Fountain Pens on Facebook and post pictures of your stuff there as well. Uh, people would love to see it. And I'm on all the social medias. All of them. It's awesome. Awesome. I've, I've shown some pens from uh, Andrew. Uh, I forgot his last night. He's a pen maker. Of course, I've shown Jim Hines pens. Uh, and there's three or four or five more other pen makers that I don't remember the names that I've shown their pens. And uh, some are no longer with us anymore. They've stopped. Uh, okay, on Facebook, look for Larry's Fountain Pens. And then on Instagram, how are you listed on Instagram? Beats the heck out of me. Let me look. I'll let you know here in about one second. Instagram, you can find me as la la la. Who knows? Uh, I'm trying to look right now. Uh, don't go away. Uh, la. Uh, okay, uh, looks like. And I'm looking. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Hmm. I'm looking. Is that the one? That isn't it, is it? Um, We're looking. Y'all looking here. What is that? Is it? Okay, yeah, that's Instagram. So, pen, pen guy nineteen forty nine. Yep. Okay. On Instagram, pen guy nineteen forty nine. You know, people that ask me, you know, uh, does it take me a long time to review a pen? Yes or no? I just don't review a pen right there out of the box. I used to a long time ago, but I don't anymore. Here's why. I want to get to know the pen. I want the pen to get to know me. Uh, you know, I, I need to write with the pen. It may take me three Days it could take me a week, up to two weeks, to get the feel of how it writes, how that ink flows, if that nib is is smooth, is it is is it scratchy, is it good feedback, is it icky feedback, uh, you know, it just a lot of factors involved. Then I've got to put the whole video together, and 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 I need to know from the, the seller slash maker a little history about how they got started and what uh, what interests them so much about fountain pens that they started making pens and how long have they been doing it and just questions like that and the material of the pen, the nibs and the nib sizes. So there's a lot to do before I do a video. Take some work, doesn't it, Mr. Announcer? Oh, yes. A bunch of work. You know, it's just not just, okay, here's the pen. Oh, can I look at this beautiful pen? It writes, it's pretty. You can get this pen for $120. Goodbye. Hello. No, that's not it. So, that ain't gonna happen. No. I've been asked also while we're at it, my favorite pen. I have yet answered that question because I don't have an honest answer. I love all my pens. Yes, I love... There's different price ranges. The low end, mid range, high end. So they're, you know, they're all different. But, you know, I treat all my pens very carefully and love them all. Oh, my favorite workhorse. What was the rest of it faded? Uh, I 
Oh, okay. Uh, what's your favorite workhorse pen? A pen you can write with for hours and hours. Well, the Mont Blanc 149, Legrand, the uh, Heinz uh, Fountain Pens, uh, this Franklin Christoph is another one. The uh, Monte Gruffa Mule was another one. This this vintage uh, Schaefer uh, from the 50s slash 60s, great fountain pen. So there's a lot of pens that really I, I truly enjoy. And I do write with them for hours and hours because I may write seven or eight pages with one pen and then go to another uh, letter, let's say, and do another three to four, however many pages. So. I've been known to write with one pen for like four hours. And usually I, I do that quite a bit. Uh, your uh, answer, Jerry, about nibs. He uses Bach branded nibs. Bach's a good nib. And is working on getting his logo put on them. Good, yeah. Uh, Heinz got his logo uh, put on his pen. Edison has his logo on his pens. Anderson, same as that. So there, there's a lot, and they're all Jovo nibs, okay? So that's cool. Uh, speaking of Bach nibs, I, I do love their titanium nibs. Bach makes the best titanium nibs, none of feet, great nibs. Bach puts out some great nibs too as well. Yeah, York says the... Uh... Jo uh, Yovo nibs never come branded. Uh, Pepe says, thanks, Larry. Your videos are great. Keep up the work. Cool. Thank you, Pepe. And Ink Guy, yes, he does spend a lot of time researching pens before he does the review on them. You know, some people, you know, put reviews out every day. We, tr we do that uh, and it just depends how I feel and if I've got the pens ready to go we may do a video for two pens in one day so that way we'll have one for the next two days but everything just depends if, if everything falls right it just depends I can do two to three videos a day and then we can take a break the next day and just upload a video. Uh, but before I get to all that, I got to get all the homework done. Well, my friends, hey, it's 625 here on the planet Zaga. So I think I need to hang it up. Got to go check on Cubby, see how he's doing. Uh, but hey. I've had a great time today. It's good to be back on live. Live, live, live. Is that loud enough? All right. Cool. Right. So, my friends, thank you for joining me today. Until next time, stay safe. And remember, don't text and drive. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. See you later. So, now we're going to... Okay, I am going off, everybody. So, la la la. La la la. Be safe.